With our Xanadu release, HLA alerts have been enhanced to speed the operator's time to value and effectiveness of problem solving. With our alert view, you can toggle on and off the closed alerts, giving you more control over the amount of information you have to sift through. Additionally, you can leverage a timeline view of the alerts to look for trends. You can experience a link view, which shows how various alerts are linked together while toggling off and on multiple link attributes to give you just the view you need to make the right decision. The info tab provides additional information about the alert group. And back on the alerts tab, you can use now assist Gen AI capabilities to analyze alerts. It generates a summary of the alert group and additional analysis, which intelligently proposes a potential probable cause. But the new capability doesn't stop there. You can choose the alert close dropdown menu to choose create incident with now assist. And it will use Gen AI to create a new incident by running a remediation against the alerts. The generated incident will include a summary, description, and additional fields common to all other incidents. It also tracks incident activity, which is helpful for auditing. Returning back to the express list view of alerts, you can follow the list of impacted services by viewing a service map. Service maps provide a visual view of the various services and their connection to one another along the impacted path of the alert. Additionally, for each service, you can view the configuration item and how they are mapped to one another. As you return back to the alert view, you can scroll down to the anomaly section for analysis of the number of times an alert occurs, as well as a timeline for when they occur. Just as before, you can choose Analyze to run Now Assist against the alert for a Gen AI summary and probable cause analysis. You can create multiple automations as well. The first automation will generate an OTEL group based on its namespace. First, you will fill in the required automation name field, followed by establishing the desired conditions to be met by the alert to appear in the new alert group. Finally, you set the criteria by which the alerts should be grouped. Once complete, choose Simulate to ensure the automation runs as you envisioned based on past alerts. The simulation outcome will show you the total alerts that were tested, how many groups resulted, how many alerts were not grouped, and a compression percentage. In this case, we will create a second automation focused on alerts which were generated by Zabbix. Once your conditions are defined, you can load past events to test your conditions. Finally, alert actions have been enhanced. In this demo, we are showing a new feature allowing the removal of an alert from an alert group. Additionally, you can close a set of alerts in bulk. We hope you are ready to try this new capability out yourself. Contact us on the ServiceNow community site for more help.